1951, when an election was conducted, it won 12 seats out of 26, and ultimately became the majority in terms of minority uh, in parliament in the parliament in 1951. Among the, ma ma the, ma the minority, they were the majority. Yes. And so they had to have a relationship with the other minority tribe, uh, minority uh, 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 parties. And that was the, 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 the reason why they finally ended up forming a united party with the then uh, National Liberation Movement. And so if you want to look at it, it was just by coincidence that they were in opposition and they thought that they need other minority uh, opposing parties um. to be able to work together. Thank you. Uh, oh. <laughs> no, give him two minutes. <laughs> add, add my two minutes. Thank Mr. you. Mr. Speaker, just two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Mr. Speaker, a lot has been said. All I want to say is that this statement has come at the right time. It has come at a time where you have two sons of the North contesting for a presidential slot. One is truthful, one is not. And it is important that we realize that and work together. That at the end of the day, the question we are going to ask ourselves is, if we have attained some development in terms of politics, have we also attained some progress when it comes to economic and education?